Good morning all. How are we all today? I have my tea. It's Monday morning. It's the last week of the month. It's not even really a week, is it? We've got the grand total of three working days left this month. And the last working day, of course, I'll be doing invoicing and things like that because I run my own business. So practically two working days left. Not very many. Um, I can't drink my tea before I get going to work, so I thought I'd kick off the stream and do some uh, Go programming. It's always Go programming to do, and I think today we'll look at doing something related to albums. So let's get the desktop up and have a look. Um, a bit of a cold today, so that's not great. Try not to cough too much. Here's Radio's Issues list. We're certainly working our way through it. It's only four down here now. I'm sure I'll come up with more as I use it more. That's how I'm ending up with these items anyway. But the one I thought I would look at today is this one here. Support album ID for upload. So when doing an album upload, it'd be nice to assign an album for this one of upload. Something like dash dash album. And with the album ID, I mean, ideally we'd like to use the name of the album as well. That would be quite cool. But let's start with getting album ID working. Um, one off thing. So not every time I want to rule. Most of uh, radio runs off rules. So the idea is that given this set of um, keywords on a photo, then we want these actions to happen to it. You know, remove the keywords, set the privacy on the photo, add it to these albums, etc. There's an outstanding issue to add it to a group as well. Sometimes we just want this group of pictures to turn up in an album. We've got no intention of creating any more into that album. So it's more of a one-off thing, and I quite like that functionality. So that's what we're doing today. How are we going to do that? Mm -hmm. This is the question. So let's start uh, with the source code, I think. And let's start with the branch. What's the uh, ticket number eight? Git checkout minus b dash ad hoc add to album. We've got branch work on it. Need to look at the source code. It's clearly going to go in the uh, upload.go command. Presumably, we, sorry, for, we must have a way to add a parameter, which presumably we do here. It's clearly not a flag, so I wonder if I've done that before somewhere, probably. I wonder where I've done that before. That is a question, isn't it? Um, maybe in view, uh, probably not view config, resize maybe? Not like that. It's like this. In init? No, we don't do anything in init there. Probably, maybe, probably don't do it in Authenticate. Authenticate probably asks. I think. Yeah, Authenticate asks. Let's look for command dot. System flags. Oh, that looks promising. Done it there. I was right, we had done it somewhere. We had done it in list albums where we've got this hot flag string filter thing going on. So let's grab this in here. Command line options. We've got dash dash force, dash dash dry run. Uh, now we're going to do upload command dash dash try that album dash dash album 
Oh, there's a misspent of albums there. Upload. Uh, add to specific album ID. No? Well, let's call it album. We'll support ID to start with, I think. I wonder if we can provide a default here. Usage, yes, we a name, value, string, then usage string. No, we can't. So, nothing obvious way to do that as an example. Yes, we do, eg dash dash l l. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. Something like that. Yeah. So now in theory we support that. Should we check that? Got to fix that error message as well. Go run dot upload dash dash help. See what happens. Album string add to specific album, e.g., dash dash album one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, that looks okay to me. Hopefully, it looks okay to you. Um, right, we've also got that spelling error, so let's uh, check out pain and fix that whilst we're here. Uh, git checkout minus d fix spelling error albums help. Very specific bunch name there, don't you think? So that was in list albums. That is not how you spell albums. There we go. That. Status, git add commands, list albums, git diff dash dash staged. Yep, that's better. Connect minus V. Six. Fix spelling error in this album's dash dash filter info message. Info. Doesn't really need any more than that. Hit push by the shoe. Origin. I don't expect to have to push a game, but by habit I do the mash dash u or uh, dash dash setup stream, which just ties this branch to the one on the remote. And we can create the pull request. GHPA. We are create what's the normal things minus b main fill in and open it up in the web. So that opens up the browser and should fill in the title. No information here. Oops. And then we can uh, add, oops. Then we can add it to the milestone. And we can create the pull request. So now we've got that pull request to be dealt with later. Good. Okay, git checkout main. Git checkout. It was eight, wasn't it? That one. Status. That puts us back where we were. Good. Okay. And of course the miss and of course the misspelling is back as you'd expect because we're not on the branch where I fixed it. Should we get rid of that breakpoint whilst we're here? Okay. Right, so now we've done that. That's going to come 
through somewhere. I need to pick up the. Oh, I need to pick up the flag. Let's uh, get this open. Filter. How do we get that filter like that? So we read the value of force. Oh, there's more errors here. Look, that's not force. That's dry run. Okay, so we just add that to this one because we're working in this file. Why? No, let's do it properly. Check out main. Check out minus b fix uh, typo. We'll do um, S tree because we only need to commit a single thing. Proper command line power users of Git would obviously use git add minus p. But I'm not one of those people, so I'm going to do it the uh, GUI way. It's to work for me, and it's that. Uh, actually, let's pick that one up as well whilst we're here. Want to register those two lines, stage those two lines, and stage this hunk like that. So this is what I'm going to send up. Register command line options and read the value of dash dash try run. Missing set value. And it's false. Okay, so that's correct. Uh, git. That's how spell git. Git commit minus v. Insert update comments. Load to reflect reality. Git push minus u origin fix type. Like that. Oh, I expected to be doing this morning. GHP main. That add it to the milestone. Get the pull request. Now I've got two, 18 and 19, so let's push them both. What was 18, do you remember? Fix but in our okay, so let's just fix both of these. So git stash. Git check out main, git merge, minus minus no ff. Oops, I don't wanna make that full screen, did I? get it out of full screen. What? I have no idea how to lose. Oh, the full screen, oh, it's command enter. Cool, that's a terrible command. I do that one all the time. Fix, no, not fix. What was it called? Fix bed error, yes. Fix. Spelling error. And this one closes 18. That it branch minus D spelling error. It push origin dash dash delete. Same thing. And get push. Probably should have pushed first. That's probably upset this because I closed it not merged it. Yes it thinks it closed it. Oh well never mind. So I closed it by deleting the branch before I merged it in. Oh well live and learn. 19 fix typo git merge minus fix typo oh that's nice spell typo uh, open closes 19 this time. Let's push it first this time so we get this to go merged. All right, there we go. Get branch minus D fixed typo, get push 
origin dash dash delete fix typo. Pingdor is one of my favourite uh, script uh, bash or shell shortcuts. Love it. Okay, so where are we? Git check out uh, eight. Git rebase eight onto main. Git dash pop. Put us back where we were, but now we do have the fixes. So what were we doing? We were about to. Uh, We we're about to copy something that code there. Let's put that there. Um, read the value of dash dash album. If it is missing, the value is active. get value album. Album. Um, like that. Something like that, I think. Right, and just set it to an empty string. All good. That's like the fact that album is not used yet, which is what that uh, squiggly line means. You can see down in the footer, my editor, unused variable album. We've not used it yet. We have to pass it in here. At some point, I'm going to have to merge all of these into a settings in a config because our upload file is becoming, getting quite a lot of parameters now. Here's upload file, and that now takes album like that. This album's not used yet, so it's not happy. We can use album somewhere. Now we add album all the way down here. And I think, yeah, all the way down here somewhere. The output, what we're going to do, and I think we should add it to that list. And then we'll use the standard code further down. There. Here. If, the, if there is anything in the albums to add to, we iterate over it. And we add the photo to the photo set, because that's Flickr's internal name for album. So I'm thinking that it would make sense to do that. It would make sense to just add my manual album to the albums to add to. And how do we do that? Right, let's uh, jump up to the top of the function, search for albums to albums to, hang on, what happened there? Up to the top of the function, search for, Albums to add to, there we go. So that's where we create the um, array. I think Jason, it's an array of type album. What's an album? It's an ID, oh, it's an ID and a name. Ooh. Hmm, that's unexpected. Okay, so those albums to Add to is an album. Uh, what that one? That one. This should be an album too. And it should be nullable. And I make something nullable. Optional. Question mark? No. Uh, Go lang, uh, declare variable uh, optionally nil. 
Is it nil or null? I don't remember. Might be null. That is nil. Plus nil is optional, I'll go out. Oh, this is where we use an asterisk, don't we? On an empty album, I suppose. I think we use an asterisk, there you go, after asterisk string. He's downside of making. I right, guess it's just like can't just string literal. Is it automatically? You use ellipses, send optional parameters, don't pass anything in. Optional parameter, check that the parameter, it should solve your problem. Yeah. Maybe. Go doesn't have optional parameters, says Captain Mosen. Hey, Captain Mosen, how are you? Yes, it doesn't have them directly, so we have to pass in as a pointer, do the pointery thing, don't we? That seems like oh, that seems like the way to do it. Everyone agrees they're not available directly. Probably not a bad idea. So I think the asterisk solution is the way to go. Yeah, let's try the asterisk version and see what happens. You reckon? Good, glad you're okay. Okay, so let's do something like that. Um, asterisk star album. So now we're going to need to pass an album. Right, we just grabbed. We just grabbed here. So this is actually album ID. And I think what we need to do is define an album here. Al uh, album as an album. As far album? Uh, with that one And then we can do album equals album. Album. Oh, album. Nope. How to find a new album? I've done this before. How comes I've forgotten? Album.id. It's not new. Make sure it's not new. Uh, da -da -da -da. Brain is like mush today. Uh, album equals album then I won't okay so the captain says you can just pointer of a string I can just point as a string but I need an album object further down so here's where I'm passing it into upload file because you go down here a little bit albums to add to is an array of albums so i need an album object and of course you're right it's braces <sighs> am i right does that work album equals because what i want to do is i want to do album dot is that id or id id equals Album ID. I want to do that. Oh, I can do just that. It's not unha it's not happy about that because it might be a point of dereference. So I need to do album equals okay. album equals album. Ah, but if I did that here. Now I have to find an empty album, and now I've set it to ID. Hmm. 
And I need to set its name as well. I don't know its name yet. So let's set its album.name to uh, album ID to just a string. If we do that, then why is that happy about that? Cannot use album, type album as type star album. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, there you go. Let's change that to a normal album. Now, I'll pass it in album directly. Can I? Well, you can do that, can you? Album ID prolong. So you can. However, that doesn't work. Well, it does work. But you can't trust album ID until you've checked the error is not nil. But more importantly, well, I'm saying maybe not. What we also need to do here at some point is check that this album ID is valid. We need to do that at some point. So part of me thinks I don't really want to assign it to um, album until I've proved that the ID the user has entered is a valid album ID. If you see what I mean. I still need an album object to pass through to upload file. So I think maybe something like that works better. So although I've not written this code yet, I am going to be writing it at some point. I reckon. Sound plausible? I don't know, sounds plausible. You could do something better with your errors though, can't you, than that? There's a way to assign in an if statement. Don't remember how though, so let's ignore that for a minute. Okay. So we've got to write this check. We'll do that later. Let's get it uploading first. Um, I've looked at the word album so much now that it looks spelt, it looks spelt wrong, even though it's spelt correctly. Uh, right, okay, so upload file is here. Here's our album. ID is always a string, so what we can do here is if album dot id is not an empty string it's an empty string then albums to add to how do we add to an album to add to end end Albums to add to album like that. I reckon we're going to change this at some point to our multiple albums as well, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Of course, the trouble with using album as a variable is that further down, I probably reuse it. I do, look here. Make it. I think our local variables work. I'm going to not risk it. Rename this to this album. Because it's the one within the iteration. Oh, it really matters. So now we've got albums to add to. So what I reckon we can do, if we can test that, 
got a go run here. That's me. Go run upload. Uh, tilde slash downloads underscore export rk1. Let's add dash dash dry run and dash dash album one two three four. Let's see what that does. And suddenly we're really really pleased with ourselves for having implemented dash dash dry run. Oh, this album, this image has already been uploaded to Flickr. Dash dash four set. There we go. Keywords to remove flickr.family. Eh? Obviously, we set to that. Doesn't say it's going to add it to an album though. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's um, take out the dash dash force and add RKA2. Yeah, there's an RKA2. Hmm, that has not worked. Okay, we're going to have to, to uh, test that. Right, so that something has gone wrong. Step through and have a look. Uh, where's the configuration? Well, that's interesting, it's lost all my config. Lost all my configs. That seems a bit rude. Add. Uh, and build. Go remote. Go test. It's not a test. Go build. Let's try go build. Not really. It's a go run. Oh, there you go. Run after. Build, okay. Program arguments, upload. Actually, let's just copy them. That. Why didn't log errors? Do Flickr APIs return a valid error message? They do return a valid error message. Oh, where did my screen go? Is it back? That was a bit strange. I've lost my live stream monitor. That's not very helpful. Turn up the screensaver and I shall make it not go into screensaver mode. Yeah, well, keep that open. Let's see what's going on. Right. Why didn't it log their messages? Flickr API does return a valid error message, but we're using dash dash dry run, which means that it won't actually try to do the Flickr API bit, but it will tell us what it's going to do. So upload dash dash dry run means it will it'll work out what it needs to do, and then it will tell us what it's going to do, but not actually do the work. So I don't necessarily want this file up to Flickr. And of course, album one, two, three, four is a completely invalid error message, uh, invalid album. Error, file is not a go file. User projects rodeo main go is that valid? Oops. I reckon we hit that button now and debug it. It should stop at this breakpoint. Look at what's going on. Right, T? Not quite. Now I'm out of tea. I swear it takes longer to compile within Goland than it does on the command line. It's very slow. Slow, 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 slow. Let's 
I have no idea what that. Uh, ooh. No idea what those little question, uh, uh, light bulbs are. Develop a tool that needs to take control of another process for debugging to continue. Prove with your Apple Watch. Okay, I will do. I have approved you, and we have broken. There we go, look. Let's make this a bit bigger so we can see what's going on. Right. So, step over that line. Now, what's album ID? Album ID is a string one, two, three, four. So it's correctly picked it up off the command line. ERR e -R is not null. Oh, ah, there's a bug. If error is not equal to nil, it should be testing. If error is equal to nil, then we're going to do this work. Or, yes. That's what we should be doing. So let's um, run this through. Uh, how do we run this through? F9. Right, yeah, that should be error equal to nil. There we go. So if there is no error, then we're going to set the album ID. Okay, I reckon that's all that was wrong. So let's try running it the fast way or the faster way. There we go. Look at that. Albums to add to. One, two, three, four. So let's go try and add it to that album. Privacy will be set to family, friends and public, because it's for everyone. There's no other keywords on this particular photo, so it's not going to do any rules, and it's just going to add it to my album as specified. Awesome, that is good news. Okay, so that's working. Of course, we need the correct album name. Now we can get the correct album name by running uh, list albums. Uh, not git run, it's go run, isn't it? Wake up. Monday morning and I'm really not with it today. Go run, list albums. Oh, it's not list album. List album. Oh, run dot. List album. I'll spell album from going albums. Terrible, terrible at spelling, aren't I? I cannot spell the word album. There we go. So there's all the albums available. Um, this particular one is just one on my desk. It's not particularly interesting. Doesn't really have an album to go in. But hypothetically, we'll use that one there, the 365 one. Shall we? Now let's use a walk one, actually. That one there. Mm. No, I'll try the first one. Let's use the 365 one. Indecisions. Not being decisive. That'd be me today, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, so seven, two, one, double five, five, double seven. You notice that they all start seven, two, one, five, double seven, one. That there is a common thing. They all start with that. Oh no, they all start with that, just an awful lot of them. Seven, I wonder what the commonality is. Seven, two, one, five. I think that's common, isn't it? Seven, two, one, five. Yeah, that's common. Hmm, I wonder if that's related to my user ID or something like that. Yeah, very common. Anyway, by the by, as they say. Um, right, so if we go back here and uh, run that one, we put the correct. So in theory, that will now work. So now the next thing we need to do is get the validation working here, which we can use the list Album, uh, all right. Albums functionality. We must already have list albums. List albums. Oh, there you go. Photo list, get list. We didn't get a single photo set. Hmm. 
maybe I'll get a valid photo set. Let's have a look. Uh, Flickr. No, that's wrong. That one. Uh, that's still wrong. Flickr.com services API. Let's have a look. Where's the photo set? So down here somewhere. Photos. Photos, geo, photos, people, photo sets. Get info, that's promising, isn't it? That one, where is it? SS. Get information about a photo set. It's your title and description. That'll do. So we should be able to do something here. I'll do that. Photo sets get info. What's that one? Authenticate true photo set. Authenticate. Oh, I see. So now we need the photo set ID, which is album ID. That's how you spell album. And then the owner ID one. Uh, hang on, what's going on? So there's the client. There's where we want to authenticate. There's the photo set ID. There's the owner ID, and we don't have a fifth parameter. There we go. So it's going to look something like that. Unfortunately, we don't have all the right info. So let's right put this into an actual function so we can get that info correctly. Oh. Siri, be quiet. Hmm, how are we going to do this? Um, album, album. Equals album, comma, uh, let's get album. Something like that. ID. Little bottom. I call it get album. Um, ID, and that's a string. Something like that. Is it not funk? Ah. Uh, not there. Let's put it there. Uh, let's go get the ID and return an album for us so that's um yeah not that one that one oh, not that one that one upload file that's how you get that flicker information i wonder if we should move that and create the client beforehand we wouldn't need to do it twice Yeah, let's, there's a whole lot of refactoring involved here. All that lot. They're going, actually. Here, funk. Get a flicker client. Up there. Oh, it doesn't like that, does it? See there. Like that. Turn. Nil, comma, and error. How do I go do the error? And somewhere we must create the client. We probably don't do that until a lot further down on this version. Yeah. 
here. So the client equals get like a client that. Yeah. That. This time we're going to return client comma nil. Something like that. So it's open that returns. But how do you do a return? Uh, I'm going to need an asterisk. Is that going brackets? Go line Claire function turns and error as well. Programming by Stack Overflow. This looks less than helpful. Let's look at that one. Maybe that's more useful. Oh, that's how you. Why do I want to sign up for your newsletter? No, thank you. Right, so you do errors.new. Uh, returning one, and it's an error. So that's an error. Be the star there, though, and that returns no invalid credentials not credentials not set. Now, the problem we have here is that's going asterisk. It can't find that declaration. Flick, oh, because it's a flicker new client. That's a function. It probably doesn't return a um, I wonder what it actually returns. Too far, I wonder what that returns. I wonder how I find out what that returns. Why can't I jump to it? No declaration to go to. Why can't I jump to? Can I not jump to it? Because it doesn't understand what I've done up here. Yes. It returns to star flicker client. So I want to return a star flicker client. Do I need to import that? Oh, flicker, so I wouldn't have thought so. Let's package flicker. There's flicker client is defined. That's clearly not how you define the return correctly when it returns two values. Here we go. 
Oh, we put in brackets. So that's correct. Oh, I know why. That's a flicker, dot flicker client. There we go, look at that. That's looking more promising. We yeah, need the config there. Now we get a flicker client. Doesn't like errors dot news, huh? How we did that? Yeah, errors. Oh, we need to import errors. Stop there. Yeah, import errors. Let's get flicker client. Why doesn't it like that? Can it use error news? Errors dot new. Oh, that's because it's a. Uh, M send or something's needed there from asterisk there. Or we don't need the asterisk here. Maybe we don't need the asterisk there too. No, we do need it there. I wonder why we don't need on error then. So I need an asterisk on my Flickr client because it might be nil. So I need to return a pointer to it. I don't for error. Is error already an implicit? No, oh, interface. Something implicit there, I don't understand. Who knows? Okay, so. It doesn't like get album like that. I don't see why not. Can't use get album on my D type void as type album. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Got to return an album, yeah. Uh, comma. Error. And here we return album, comma, errors dot new, uh, invalid album. Otherwise, we return an album where the ID is. Have my day. That's actually a capital I think. And the title. No, maybe it's not title. Is it title? No, not title. Name. Name. I wonder what our response is going to be. Back from getting info. Hmm. What comes back from getting info? Getting info returns back a photo set response and a photo set response has got a basic response and a photo set. So we've got a photo set. Dot photo set dot. What's in one of these? Photo set has an ID. And a title. Uh, ID. Doesn't like that response dot photo set there. Title. We done something wrong. Maybe it's that's not its name. In terms of photo set response. Oh, it's called set. It's called set. 
but new album, ID is that, and its name is that. Why doesn't it like that? Not enough arguments to return, comma nil. There we go. Not sure I like doing the inline creation like that, so I'm going to do album uh, equals return album comma nil. Like that. Why is that? I need training comma. Okay, so now we've got a get album function. And we need a client. Client equals um, get record client. We need that user ID. Uh, that's not equals, that's colon equals. Then we need the user ID. Why does it like that? Argument count mismatch. One equals two. Oh, I'll do that. You have to do client comma uh, if error isn't empty to empty here label turn uh this return error there can I probably do the same here as well. Might not want to do that. I'm going to have to do something about my other get flicker client there. That one. That. And that returns. And I think this returns empty. Something like that look good. I think so. Right, now we we'll go get that user ID. That user ID is here. How do we get that user ID? It's config.flicker.user ID. So uh, that's down the bottom. Yeah. Like that. All right, so now we can tidy this up again. So album now equals, if it, and probably do that, and allow it to be nil. I assume get string. Yes, that's an empty string to the album ID. So we don't actually care about that error at all. We do care about this one if error is not equal to nil. Um, interline unable. Uh, and then we can return. Do we return? Nothing. This function returns nothing. Should try that. Try one, two, three, four, which should fail. I see it's gone nine o'clock, so I'm going to have to stop in a sec. Turned an error. Photo set not found. There we go. I think we need to repeat it twice over here. It's a bit. 
So let's remove it out of get error. That's better. And that number needs to be that number. And that. Album to add to three six five twenty. It has correctly found the the Flickr album I want to add to, and I can confirm it. So I can call that a win and stop there, and then I will continue this later um, when I'll finish tidying it up and getting it in. I hope you found that interesting. I certainly found it interesting. I think we made some progress. That's always good. So Monday morning whole week to look forward to so I hope you have a good week too.